Hey, Gemini, if you're with a reading for the sign of Gemini, this could resonate with anyone who has Gemini strongly in their chart, sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, and Venus sign. Um, all right, Gemini, I'm going to get right into it for you. This is going to be a free form kind of reading, freestyle kind of reading. Um, I'll look at your energy internally and look at what the situation that's going on outside of you. And then we'll dig deeper into the energies um, that show up for us. So we'll do some investigation. Um, the, um, all right, let's look at the internal energy for Gemini, the internal energy. Internal energy, this is all about you, Gemini. This is all about you. This is all about Gemini, internal energy. There we go. Boom. Okay, and looking at the um, energy that is around, the energy that is around the environment, the situation that is around Gemini, the environment, the situation that is around Gemini, environment, the situation that is around Gemini. Environment, the situation that is around Gemini. Let's just get through the deck. Maybe that's it. I guess that's it. Let me try one more section, but we do have enough energies here, so that's probably it. let's look at you Gemini and see how you're feeling about this situation um, we have the Empress we have the lovers energy and we have um, the Queen of Swords so this is all about you uh, this is all about you Gemini well we do have the Empress energy here so I think you're feeling quite balanced um, I think you're feeling passionate about life you're you're able to um, really find your sense, your sense of self in the in this maternal um, part of you, Gemini. Um, it is the the energy of the mother. So you could be um, really focusing on being a mother to a child or to children, being a mother to a project or to a creation. It's a very mothering, very nourishing energy that you're in. It's an energy of balance, um, um, a, a whole a wholesomeness in the way you think about life. Um, you're able to really over overturn your old insecurities and look at situations um, with a sense of abundance, a sense of um, well-being. You're not really um, you're 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 not you are not affected by the success of others. You are happy about the success of others. The success of others um, really inspires you. So it, it is a very maternal well-balanced kind of energy that I feel here for, with this group of Geminis. Um, we do have the energy of Gemini here with the lover's energy. This was probably something um, to do with a partnership or in a, an intense relationship that you're having. Um, it's usually with somebody that you're romantically with or sexually with, but it could also be a, an intense relationship that you have with another person, such as a child. Um, for example, if you have just um, birthed a child, you could be in a very lover's relationship with that child where it's very intense. It's, it's when, when you, when it comes together, when two, when these two, two souls come together, something very beautiful happens between them. Right. So it doesn't always have to be sexual partners. It can be business partners. It can be mother and, and her, a child. Um, it, it can be a, a relationship between two communities. But what's what's interesting about the lover's energy is that these energies are usually much different energies, but complementary energies so that when they're separate, they're much different. When they're together, they're still much different, but they somehow merge together to become very intense. And something is usually created from that merging, whether it is um, a, a, um, a, a beautiful relationship between a mother and a child, whether it is a, an, a relationship filled with chemistry and sexuality between two people, or whether it's two communities or, or two coworkers that have sep separate skills, um, co complementary skills that are much different. But when those skills come together, they can really produce and manufacture products and services that are, that are well respected and well liked in the community.
So um, this is being balanced. So all of these energies are are really about balance, um, about really knowing who you are. So this is a group of Gemini people who really at this point in time, you are finding out deep within you who you are as a person, who you are, what your soul um, feels and what your heart feels. And, and you're really getting in touch with who you are at this point in time. So there, there is a new awareness now of, of the, of how deep you feel about something, the quality of your life and the quality of a relationship that you're in. We do have the queen of swords here. So, um, I, I do feel like you are in a very protective, um, you're, you're protective about this. You're saying what needs to be said. You're standing your ground. Um, you are, um, you are in a protective sort of, so, sort of energy. Now, the, the Queen of Swords, when we're talking about protective, it doesn't always have to be harsh, right? It doesn't always have to be that she's speaking out um, for, for something. This can be the Queen of Swords in a very maternal energy where she is um, acting with precaution, where she's acting with a sensitivity, where she's acting in, in a way that nurtures a situation because the Queen of Swords can be soft. When, when she's in this very uh, Empress energy with the Lover's energy, Gemini, this is all about you. The Queen of Swords is Gemini. The Lover's is Gemini. And the Empress can seriously, in this, especially with this energy that we feel here, can be Gemini. So uh, this is you in, in, the, in, a, in the most powerful version of a great mother or a, a great maternal sense. And it doesn't always have to do with children. It can do with creation, creation of, a, of artwork or creation of something new that you're, that you're inventing in your life or creation of a new system, right? There's a very creative type of mothering, nurturing energy that this group of Gemini people are, are experiencing at this point in time. Um, I want to show you these cards just really briefly. I think they're really pretty. Um, we do have the Empress energy here. So very much an energy of, of, the, of the Great Mother. The cat there. And then we have the Lover's energy. And then we have the Queen of Swords. All right, let's look at this, the situation that's going on around you now. That's interesting how every other one is turned. Little interesting things happen when we use the Tool of Tarot. So we have the Six of Pentacles. The Four of Swords, the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in the upright, and the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Beautiful. So this is something that's going on in the space around you, in the environment around you, Gemini. So I'm going to read this in summary, and then we're going to go deeper into some of these energies here. So first of all, we have the Six of Pentacles. I'm just going to show you these cards. And this is the, the, the I was going to say, is this in reverse now? Um, the Gemini, this is the, the third time I've used this deck. So I'm getting used to this deck as well. It's not focusing all that well. There you go. Six of Pentacles. And you can pause it when it's really, if you want to look at it for longer, you can pause it. This is the Four of Swords. This is the Seven of Wands in reverse. Let me show it to you in the upright. This is the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Let's see if I can get it here. Another Seven of Pentacles with the apple tree. I have another one with the apple tree too. 
and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Sorry, the, the light is kind of glaring off of them. You can't see that, but it, it does. Um, these cards are really shiny, and it and I'm pulling them closer to me so I can read them. Um, so we start off with the Six of Pentacles. So this is a an, um, a situation that is um, that that you feel comfortable in. It feels fair to you, Gemini. I think that you are um, really experiencing a situation now that. Um, is conducive for you for your health and well-being so i think you're feeling um really happy with the situation it's fair um you could be making money now you could be making enough money where you really are feeling comfortable in your um, long-term plan and in your short-term plan you're feeling comfortable in that um you are um, experiencing a situation that is just and fair for you and i think that you're comfortable with it I think that you also are realizing that other people are also experiencing situations that are fair for them. So there's a sense of fairness here and, 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 and well-being um, that's coming in here. And it does have an energy that does have something to do with financial well-being. So there is um, a relaxation that's happening here, especially with it being next to the Four of Swords. So um, I really see you taking a break now, coming in from the battle, um, finding yourself, resting, recovering, spending some time um, re in revitalization, in gratefulness and appreciation, connecting into uh, that system, that belief system that you have, or that religious structure um, that really gives you strength and provides guidance. And um, it's, it's an energy connecting in with, with the divine and, and really um, being grateful and appreciative for life with the Four of Swords and being able to rest and revitalize and, and find yourself again. Um, so that you're having enough money where you're not worried. Um, you're having a chance to rest and relax and connect into that which gives you strength. Um, you have the Seven of Wands here in reverse. So I think that you're really letting your guard down now. You're feeling much more protected. Um, you don't really have to stand in, in front of what you believe in anymore as much. You're, you're feeling safe and secure in your environment. And um, there, there is a situation that, that probably was difficult for you in the past that seems to be lessening now. Um, that situation is, is, is really moving out of your experience at this point. You have the Seven of Pentacles, so you're really working on something. You are um, investing time in yourself or you're investing money into something. Um, you, you know that there's a little bit more work to be done here. It's a very practical energy. It's very calm and practical. Um, it's, it's preparing for harvest. So there is something here that is, is coming to fruition. It's just not here quite yet for you. And you're really willing to put the work in now. You're willing to um, give this a go and, and see what happens in the future. And um, with the Seven of Pentacles, I think there is a, an energy here where you know if you work hard, you invest in yourself, stay and stay healthy and and um, and and really move forward step after step that this could really build into something quite abundant. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is the energy of abundance. So uh, I think you're feeling quite safe and secure. Um, you understand that there is a long-term plan here that you're building and you feel good with that. You could be um, really feeling secure in your family, um, creating a legacy, creating a long-term retirement strategy. Um, this is a safe and secure family kind of energy that's accepting of others, accepting of um, uh, um, of stories, of enjoyment of life, of relaxation in life. I mean, when you're not worried about surviving, when you're not worried about paying the bills or you're not worried about protecting yourself and you can start enjoying life and you have the safety and security, you have enough money so that you're not worried, you really begin to live a different kind of a life. And that's what we really see you heading into here with the Seven of Pentacles next to the Ten of Pentacles. So let's start digging deeper now into some of these energies. Um, I do want to dig deeper into the Six of Pentacles. Um, I do want to dig deeper into the Ten of Pentacles. And I think I want to dig into the Lover's Energy. So those are the three energies that I'm going to dig deeper into. And then in the extended, um, before we're done with this reading, I will tell you what I'm going to, what I'm going to do in the extended. The, the extended is also a freestyle, and I want to keep this free-flowing. 
So I'll decide before we end this reading what the extended will be, and then you'll you'll have the chance to see if, if you resonate with that or not, if you're interested in that. So let's go ahead now and dig. First, let's dig into the lover's energy and see what we can find here in the lover's energy. I think I'm going to still use the same deck. I feel like I, I should. Let's look at the lover's energy here. Tell me more about the lover's energy, please. Eight of Swords. King of Wands and Queen of Wands. Wow. Now this King of Wands has been out before. This is a new deck. I've used it for six readings now. Um, this is a new deck. This King of Wands has been out before. So this is not a matter of shuffling. And here we have the King and Queen of Wands coming out. So this is a partnership. Um, yeah, and this King of Wands has been out. So the fact that they came out right after another is just the, the power of tarot. It's not that the, that these were not shuffled because, again, this, this King of Wands has been out on the table several times today. So um, we have a situation here with counterpart energies. We have the king and queen of wands here. So they, these are two people that are, they have some kind of soul connection. They have some kind of um, powerful connection between them. They do have complementary energies. So uh, the king of wands is, is very passionate, very, um, very charismatic, very strong um, with the heart center and with the energetic center. So this person could be very attractive and pulling people to him, uh, very much a presenter, uh, um, a, a performer, a, a politician, um, somebody who can invent, right? Somebody who can think outside the box and, and step into new situations and step through the uncomfortable feelings of something new and step through the fear of something new. Um, because this person is led by their passion. They're led by their strong beliefs and their dedication to something, right? So they're very empowered that way. Uh, this is someone that works in spurts. So they can be very charismatic and very powerful at work, but at home they can be very tired because they do use a lot of fuel, right? They're, they're, they use a lot of fuel. And when they run out of fuel, they really do need to recharge. You have the queen of wands here as, as well. This is really um, a person who is spending time really understanding her own empowerment. Um, what are her natural abilities and her strengths and her, and, and her um, skills that she has, has in creating success in her life? Um, she's very passionate about life as well. She's very clear in, in what she wants and, and she can really create change in her life. Now, if there are people around her that are um, not, that do not have good intentions, um, she will be able to figure that out. She will be able to sense that. Um, she's very intuitive and she doesn't really accept people around her who are passively aggressive or people around her that are trying to create destruction, she will cut those people off. She will say no. So the queen of wands is someone who can say no. Um, somebody who's very dramatic, somebody who's very empowered, um, very might wear like um, very strongly, um, strongly colored clothes and might have a very strong sense of style. Right. So it's a very creative energy, very creative, very passionate energy. The King of Wands is the same way. King of Wands is, is very likes color, likes something new, likes excitement, likes um, fixing something, likes rescuing something. That's what the King of Wands is. So we have some some people here, um, two people here that are quite powerful when they're together. Now, we do have the Eight of Swords here. So it does feel like there is some sort of situation here. I, let me go deeper into the Eight of Swords because I think there's something that they're talking about here that these two people are dealing with. There's probably a decision that needs to be made coming up. Um, tell me more about the Eight of Swords, please. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Here we have the King, the, the King of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. So now we have the King and Queen of Swords. So we have two sets of counterparts. I mean, there are partners here, you guys. There are partners here, whether it's co-workers or community partners or brothers and sisters or husband and wife or lovers, right? 
there are partners all the way through this reading. Now, there is something here to decide. There's a decision here. The lover's energy is about making decisions, deciding, being balanced, and making decisions. So this group of Gemini people could be um, trying to make a decision now about something. Um, trying, They might be trying to be fair with the situation. There might be a situation that these two people are in that are kind of keeping them trapped. Um, keeping them feeling like they might not have as much, they, so, somebody might have taken their power away or they could be in a situation here um, where they could be trapped into something. Now, this is an interesting energy. It almost feels like how a lot of people feel these days with the situation that's going on in the world where you're basically kind of trapped in here, trapped in a situation, stuck at home, stuck inside. So there could be people that are stuck inside or are trapped in, in a certain situation. Um and it could be something that's affecting the mindset, the attitude, the way these people think about their situation. Um, and then we have the King of Swords coming in here, which is about um, being fair-minded, um, seeing the big picture of it, um, being able to be discerning in the choices that, that follow with this. Um, so I think that what's happening here with this group of, of Geminis is you're, you're really seeing the big picture of what's going on. You're seeing the big picture. I don't think you're confused about this Eight of Swords at all. I think it's just a matter of moving out of this entrapment or moving out of this conflict, moving out of this situation that where, where things are really out of your control here. Because I, I see with the King of Swords that you are seeing, you are seeing the big picture of this and you will be able to um, make your way out of this as you move forward. I mean, it is interesting that we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords here. So we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So um, it can't be any clearer than that, Gemini, that there is a there are people here that are working together to overcome something, right? To overcome something. Um, they're willing to put the work in. It looks like as they move for, forward into the near future that there is a stabilization that they experience. Um, and uh, they really move forward now into a more relaxed place and begin to work again on whatever is going to bring them the most abundance. So let's now move that's what it was king all right so the king of swords goes back king and queens of wands goes back the eight of wands goes back and the lovers card goes up here all right let's look at the six of coins let's look at the six of pentacles see what we can get out of the six of pentacles now tell us more about the six of pentacles please the stabilization of finances Stabilization of equality, of something that's becoming much more fair. A situation is becoming much more fair. Eight of Pentacles, work. This could probably be something that you're working on. Let me get the rest of the cards out here. Three of Pentacles. See, it's all about this Pentacles. Stabilization. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So this, so we have four Pentacles energy here. I mean. This is just amazing to me. This is just amazing to me. It's four pentacles energy. Um, you're, you're having balance with finances. I mean, with finances and resources and, and your daily life and how you are feeling in your daily life. Are you feeling like you have enough money to pay the bills? Are you feeling like you have uh, enough money in your safety account or in your emergency fund? Yes, with the six of pentacles, this group of of, Gem, of Gemini people are feeling much more secure in their finances. They're feeling much more relaxed now. Um, we have the eight of pentacles. It could be that work is getting going or that you're really focused on something now that can really, um, you, you are really feeling like whatever you're doing now, it can really bring you abundance and security in the future. You've just got to focus. You've just got to put your nose to the grindstone and not get distracted by all this other um, all this, these other distractions that are happening around you. So this is a desire to really hone in now, to really hone in on now on what is going to bring you the success. So this is, this is hard work here. Really getting down into the nitty gritty of it and getting your hands dirty here and getting, and getting going in this. We have three of pentacles. So this is something that you have just, this, this could be a project that just has gotten started or a new job that you just started or a new company that you just started or a new creative work that you just started. With the Three of Pentacles, this has already been started. And I know I've said that four times now. This is something that has already been started. So um, you're, you're learning about it. You're training about it. You're negotiating about it, compromising about it, working with other people about it. There's a lot of repetition. Can you tell in, the, in these words, there's a lot of repetition in these words. And this tells 
tells me that this could be something that you're gaining um, comfort in and you're gaining the process of it and you're and you're working into a rhythm. So this is getting into the rhythm of whatever this is, getting into the rhythm of it. You're getting into the rhythm. It's a rhythm type of energy, rhythm. Um, and then you have the night of the, the page of pentacles. So you're, you're beginning to see something. Um, you're, you're beginning to see indications of improvement. You're beginning to see indications of success here. And this feels really good with the page of pentacles. So, um, you're starting to see new stability come in. Really beautiful energy. So this is all about work. This is all about stability. This is all about creating improvement in your, in your reality, in your walk of life, in your finances, in the resources that are around you. Um, feeling comfortable and secure and safe in the, in the home that you, that you have. Um, and feeling good about that. So it's bringing balance in here for you. And I think that's really, um, a, a something that you very much appreciate at this time. It's, it's something that really brings a lot of relief to you. All right, let's look at this ten of ten of pentacles now. This is focusing now on money in this reading more than anything I feel with Gemini. Ten of pentacles, money and family, something like that, because we have the 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 mother energy here. Um, we have balance, and then we have Gemini energy. So let's look at the ten of pentacles. Please tell me more about the ten of pentacles. Please tell me more about the ten of pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Two of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups. Damn. And we have the Four of Wands. Beautiful. I, I think what's really happening here with Gemini with this Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. Magician energy. Four of Wands. It's hard to sometimes get the camera to focus right on these. Here we go, four of wands here. Four of cups, two fours. Two of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is in the reverse. All right, let's get going. All right, so there, there is something that's going to yet happen for you. It's going to yet happen. Um, it's some sort of realization, some sort of decision, epiphany, um, a thought form that's being created within the mind. It gives you a sense of stability. It gives you a sense of clarity about a decision that you're making or about what's truly important to you. It could be a belief system coming in. It could be some kind of major communication coming in. Um, it will bring some sort of, and, and, we get, and this has to do with this long-term stability that we have here, long-term success, long-term long-term, long-term stability, long-term goodness, right? Um, there is some sort of realization or decision that's coming in that you're making, um, and it's helping you to decide which way to go on, on something. Maybe it's a decision here that you're trying to make because that lover's energy is here. 
There could be a decision, there could be a life path or a, a fork in the road, or you could be coming up to an intersection here that you have to make a decision and you're going to try to figure out what to do. So this group of Gemini people, uh, most of you will hear here will have some sort of a strategy decision or a how to do it decision, deciding how to do it best. How should it be done best? Um, what to do? What what exactly to do? Um, we, we have something here um, with the Four of Cups. There's something here that has not been exactly right for you. There's been something off. It's it's not felt right for you. It's it's something has been wrong here. And it looks like there's going to be um a choice coming in, something that you're going to be able to fix. You're you're going to have some options here that's going to help you move into a situation that's much more secure. That's more um it's it's more sheltering. It feels more comfortable. It feels more safe. So you're moving um, from a four energy that is unsatisfying and somewhat, um, some of you could be even be miserable. Some of you could just be not liking really the situation that you're in. It looks like you're moving into something that's much more cozy, much more comfortable, much more stable. It's like you're creating a foundation so that you're feeling comfortable um, in, in the work that you're doing or in the relationship that you're in or um, in, in, in your home itself. Um, so there's something here that's a changeover for you. And then we have the magician. I think you could have been working on this for a long time. It just seems like all of a sudden um, there is something that comes in here that creates this option that almost in a way just shows up out of nowhere here with the two of wands. Tell me more about the two of wands. Tell me more about the two of wands. King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So there's something here that's helping you um, make a decision or take action in the King of Pentacles that will help you bring in more money or more stability. A lot of this for Gemini is about money and stability, feeling comfortable. Um, you have the Five of Wands. So uh, there could have been a situation here that you had to deal with for a long time. Um, and you could have felt like you there was no solution like there was there was nothing that you could do that really could get you out of this situation. Well, all of a sudden there's an option here. And I think you you really realize the importance of this option and how it could really bring in bring in long-term stability for you. There could be an increase in revenue here. Remember, the King of Pentacles is a very slow mover, so it might take you a little bit of time to move through this decision. He really looks at all the information. He looks at the data. He looks at the numbers. He makes columns and he, and he uses reports and he, and he's very logical. So there's not a whole lot of emotion that's going on here. It's more about rationality. It's more about, um, how much work it's going to take. How much time is it going to take? What will the revenue be? What will the net profit be? What will the expenses be? I and mean, it's all about the numbers. So this is a group of people that, that are going to be working with the numbers, creating more, equality in life, using numbers, using logic, using, um, getting down to the nitty gritty of, um, it's not so much how I feel, but it's what, what will it, how will it change my life? How will it improve my life? Um, so, so this is a very mothering type energy, um, uh, but it's, but the, there's another energy here, whether it's within you, Gemini, or whether it's with a, another person that's around you, your counterpart energy, um, that is really talking about, long-term stability and what kind of decisions need to be made and what actions need to be taken to start creating improvement in your reality, in your job, in your workplace, with your money, with your finances. What can you do now to start creating more money, um, more security, more safety as you move forward? Um, and, and in the past here, you could have just felt like there was no way you're going to get out of this. So you're trapped here in this situation and it's just one roadblock after another. You could really feel now, um, that you can overcome this because you have this really strong King of Pentacles here that is being rational. And, um, not that you weren't rational before Gemini, but there's some added quality here that's helping you really, um, to step into a, into a, a set of actions or into an action plan or into a situation that really feels like it could be much more secure and much more abundant, even as you move into the future. So again, this is a group of Geminis who are um, really moving in, into a very powerful feminine space, um, stepping into a situation of, of financial balance, 
making good decisions, working hard, investing in self, and understanding that there is abundance here for you. There is a beautiful, long-term, um, um, happy, um, gentle, adventurous life, right? That, that has, where you will have enough money, where you will have a big family, where you, you will have a big support system that you will feel safe and secure in. Um, and that even though there might be differences in people that are around you, there is still a, a, um, bracket of concern or a basket of concern and well being that envelopes everyone within it. That is the, the 10 of Pentacles type of energy. So this is really beautiful, Gemini. And I really think that as, as this next week or two comes, comes, um, into play, I think you're going to start feeling much more secure financially and you're going to begin, uh, everything is going to begin to move again, right? So the situation will begin to move again for you. So I think that, um, we're going to move, uh, move into the extended. And I, I do feel like I want to move this out another month or two to see what happens here. We have, we have a lot of people who are working together. Um, so I'll see how the two, the two different energies feel working together out into the future because we had all these partnership energies here. Um, this is a lot about money and security and finances. Um, and so we'll, we'll take this situation out into the month of May, perhaps. We'll look at how these counterpart energies are feeling and what we can expect financially and within the relationships with, with these, um, king and queens that we have coming out. Not just king and queens, but king and queens of the same suit, which is pretty cool that it happened twice in this reading. So I do feel like there's, there's, there are people here that when they team up, when they team up, there's a powerful outcome in that. So I want to kind of dig into those energies just a little, just a little bit more in the extended. All right, my friends, this has been a, a, um, inspiring reading for me. I hope you feel comfortable. I hope you feel confident of your future. And, um, I, I wish you all the best as you move into the next week or two, my friends. All right. Thank you all very much, Gemini.